SpaceX's upcoming Starship Flight 8 is generating significant anticipation, with a potential launch date as early as February 26. This projected launch date, significantly earlier than previous estimations, is based on an AI prediction during a recent XAI demo. The projected timeline, while promising, also highlights the inherent complexities of large-scale space missions. This potential launch date, if realized, would mark a substantial stride in the company's rapidly advancing space program. The earlier-than-expected launch date, according to AI predictions, underscores a possible acceleration in SpaceX's launch cadence. This prediction, coming from an AI demo, adds another layer of interest and uncertainty to the already complex launch scheduling process. The prediction has ignited anticipation among space enthusiasts. The potential for an earlier-than-expected launch is significant, as it could alter the timeline of subsequent missions and testing procedures, potentially impacting other launch activities. The early launch window reflects SpaceX's ambitious goal to increase the frequency of its Starship flights, and the prediction from an AI source adds an element of intrigue to the ongoing developments. This closed timeline suggests a high degree of readiness and efficiency in SpaceX's operations. SpaceX's meticulous approach to Starship development is evident in the upcoming Flight 8, focused on validating critical structural improvements. The static fire test of Booster 15, a crucial step in preparation, underscores SpaceX's commitment to rigorous testing protocols. This testing is essential to ensuring the safety and reliability of the launch vehicle. The test is specifically designed to expose and resolve any potential weaknesses identified in previous missions. The current testing regime prioritizes identifying and addressing potential issues before a full launch. This approach is a key element in achieving safe and reliable spaceflight. The meticulous approach to testing is intended to validate the updated designs. Simultaneously, Starship 34 is undergoing critical preparations for its own static fire test, reinforcing SpaceX's commitment to parallel development and rapid mission progression. The rigorous testing regimen involving both boosters and the spacecraft itself signifies a commitment to thorough validation and safety. This commitment to comprehensive testing protocols is crucial to achieving safe and successful launches. SpaceX's Starbase facility is undergoing significant upgrades, focusing on enhanced launch infrastructure and improved recovery systems. The new developments at Pad B, including the installation of new systems and the relocation of launch components, suggest a strategic plan to optimize launch operations and facilitate quicker turnaround times. These improvements aim to streamline the entire process, from launch preparation to recovery of the boosters. The construction of the new launch infrastructure represents a considerable investment in future launch capabilities. The extensive upgrades at Starbase highlight SpaceX's ongoing commitment to increasing the frequency of its launches. The facility's improvements reflect a comprehensive approach to managing logistical challenges and maximizing operational efficiency. These upgrades indicate a proactive strategy to handle the potential increase in Starship launches signifying a commitment to the Starship program's rapid and efficient development. This proactive approach reflects the company's efforts to build an advanced, adaptable launch facility capable of supporting a high volume of operations. Firefly Aerospace's upcoming Blue Ghost Mission 1 to the Moon marks a significant step in the burgeoning commercial lunar payload sector. This mission, part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, will deliver a suite of scientific instruments to the lunar surface. The mission's primary objectives include conducting scientific experiments and analyzing lunar regolith. This mission is a significant step towards expanding human exploration and utilization of lunar resources. The targeted landing site, Maricrisium, provides a unique opportunity for scientific study. Firefly is aiming to solidify its position as a crucial player in the growing private sector's involvement in lunar missions. This marks a noteworthy advancement in the ability of private companies to contribute to scientific inquiry and research in deep space. The mission underscores the expanding capabilities of private spaceflight companies in performing crucial tasks for the broader Artemis program. The launch signifies the growing recognition of the commercial sector's potential in fulfilling significant scientific goals in lunar exploration. The payload deployment will help to further understand the Moon's resources and environment contributing to the advancement of future lunar missions. 
SpaceX's ongoing expansion at Starbase, encompassing not only rocket production, but also the development of supporting infrastructure, reveals the company's ambitious plans for significantly increasing launch frequency. The construction of additional facilities, like Star Factory 2 and enhancements to Pad B, underscores this. These developments are integral to SpaceX's long-term goals, primarily its vision of accelerating the production and deployment of reusable rockets. This growth directly supports the ambitious plan to establish a substantial fleet of starships for missions to Mars and other destinations. The comprehensive approach demonstrates a clear strategy for managing the logistical and infrastructural demands of scaling operations. This expanded infrastructure is crucial for achieving SpaceX's high-volume launch cadence, and the investment reflects the company's confidence in its ability to meet future demands. The planned doubling of production capacity emphasizes SpaceX's dedication to achieving significant advancements in rocket manufacturing. This infrastructure development underscores the company's commitment to both innovation and rapid scaling, signifying a crucial step in their long-term space exploration endeavors. The ongoing advancements at SpaceX's Starbase, particularly the developments around Pad B and the Starship program's overall trajectory, point to a significant evolution in launch infrastructure. These improvements signify a strategic shift toward greater operational efficiency and increased launch cadence. The modifications to existing infrastructure, alongside the construction of new facilities, underscore a dedication to handling the growing volume of launches expected in the near future. This expansion of launch capabilities demonstrates a critical element of SpaceX's overall mission to accelerate its launch cadence. The upgrades to Pad B and other facilities directly support SpaceX's goal to conduct Starship launches more frequently and efficiently. These improvements aim to ensure the smooth execution of increasingly frequent Starship launches. This comprehensive approach to launch infrastructure highlights SpaceX's commitment to supporting a high launch cadence, reflecting the company's ambition and long-term vision. This focus on enhancing launch capabilities is crucial for meeting the growing demands of future space exploration missions. The substantial investment in new infrastructure suggests the scale and ambition of SpaceX's long-term plans. The recent unveiling of Andromeda 2 Stokes Space's advanced rocket engine underscores a growing competitive landscape in the aerospace industry. This new engine, designed for Stokes Space's Nova rocket, is notable for its emphasis on full reusability a key factor in the economics of spaceflight. The engine's modular design suggests potential applications beyond NOVA, signifying Stokes Space's ambition to develop a versatile propulsion system. The focus on reusability in the engine's design aligns with the broader trend in the industry toward more sustainable and cost-effective space operations. This innovative approach could disrupt the current propulsion landscape and potentially challenge existing market leaders. The introduction of this new engine signifies Stokes Space's commitment to innovation and its aim to compete in the commercial space launch sector. This design highlights the increasing importance of efficiency and sustainability in the development and use of rocket engines and may have significant implications for the future of space travel. The Andromeda 2 engine and its associated technology may prove vital for future heavy lift missions and deep space exploration. Flight 8 Approaching despite ongoing investigations. SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 is rapidly approaching, with both Booster 15 and Ship 34 having completed their respective engine tests. While the mishap investigation into Flight 7 remains open, a February 26 launch window has emerged, boosting confidence in the possibility of a launch within the next week. The completion of engine tests for both components is a significant step toward launch readiness suggesting a potentially accelerated timeline despite ongoing FAA investigations into Flight 7 issues. The completion of Ship 34's test campaign and the successful static fire of Booster 15 are clear indicators of SpaceX's preparedness for the upcoming flight. Ship 34 Testing and Potential Modifications Ship 34's recent extended static fire test provided valuable data for potential upgrades and flight profile adjustments. This prolonged test the longest of its kind, allowed for testing of new hardware and simulated conditions encountered during the previous flight. The modifications related to potential issues in the previous mission highlight SpaceX's commitment to continuous improvement. 
Furthermore, additional payloads are likely slated for the flight, including a new batch of Starlink satellites and other potentially significant elements, all of which require new procedures and practices. The comprehensive testing process underscores SpaceX's efforts to improve upon past performance and ensure mission success. Booster 15 Preparations and Pad A Refurbishment Booster 15, having completed its static fire test, is now undergoing final checkouts at the production facility. The rapid rollout, mount, and rollback of Booster 15 represent significant gains in efficiency. The booster's modified landing tank, which was installed on previous boosters, suggests a commitment to improving reusability. SpaceX is also actively preparing Orbital Launch Pad A for Flight 8, a process expected to take several weeks. The ongoing refurbishment of Pad A and awaiting regulatory approval from the FAA for the upcoming flight are important steps towards achieving the launch window. Launch window and regulatory hurdles. A notice to airman NOTAM has been issued for Mexican airspace indicating a potential launch window for Flight 8 on February 26. The status of the mishap investigation, however, remains a significant hurdle. The need for regulatory approval, with the FAA's pending review and potential delays, could impact the launch timeline and schedule. SpaceX is working diligently to prepare for a launch as quickly as possible, but external factors, like regulatory processes, might lead to further delays in the final stages of preparation.